right now a person of interest is being questioned here at the Mercedes Police Department. Earlier today we had a chance to speak to the baby's biological father who says the mother should also face charges. It's the first time in four months Jeremy Villa has seen his 11 month old son, but it's not the way he would have wanted. I was devastated. I was broken. I couldn't. I thought it was a dream. Like it's a nightmare to hear that my son passed away. His baby boy, Jeremy Villa Jr. and his two daughters were in the custody of his estranged wife, Vanessa Villa. Jeremy says Vanessa waited 14 hours after he died to call him. The mom said that he choked on the bottle and she calls me to go to explain to my oldest daughter why her brother's not coming home. The grieving father says it was one of the hardest things he's ever had to do. Even worse, he found photos of his son lying dead on a bed at the hospital, and that's when he began to think this was no accident. The photos he shared with Action 4 are too graphic to broadcast. I saw the pictures of my son with the bruises on his face and then her with bruises on her face. I'm like, I'm not an investigator, but I took, I put two and two together and both both been hidden. An autopsy revealed baby Jeremy died from blunt force trauma to his skull. Jeremy believes his estranged wife's boyfriend, Johnny Paloma, is to blame. Mercedes police confirmed Paloma is in custody, but at the moment only for a probation violation and a marijuana charge. Jeremy believes his baby's mother should also face charges. I cannot tell you how many people we are going to arrest, but we are looking into seeking justice for this infant. Jeremy is leaving it up to police to bring those responsible to justice. For now, he is just coping with the fact that he will never see his son alive again. After Christmas, I'm not going to be able to open a gift for my son. No way that I'm not going to spend no holidays with my son no more. And he's 20 days before he turned one. Now, we did speak to the baby's mother earlier today, but she declined to comment on this case. Reporting in Mercedes, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.